Ali alayhi salam was the cousin and the son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet had adopted Imam Ali alayhi salam on his birth and loved him intensely. He called him his own brother. Imam Ali alayhi salam is the first Imam of Shia Muslims and the fourth rightly guided Caliph of the Sunni Muslims. His ignomen was Abu al-Hasan and he possesses several titles such as Amir al-Mu'minin, Murtaza, Haider, Mola, Haider al-Qarrar, Bab al-Ilm, and many more. He was born to Hazrat Abu Talib alayhi salam and Bibi Fatma bint Asad on the 13th of Rajab inside the Holy Kaaba in Mecca. He was a part of the Mubahala, a member of the Kisa, and was appointed as the successor of Rasulullah on several incidents such as Ghadir al-Khum and Dawid al-Ashira by the Prophet himself. His Khilafat after Rasulullah, however, lasted for 30 years amongst his Shia, but the apparent Khilafat for the Sunni Muslims was for 5 years only even during which there was strong opposition against him by those in power. He is known for unprecedented valor within the several battles that he fought during his lifetime, such as battles of Badr, Uhud, Khandak, Khaybar, Hunain, Taif, Tabuk, Sifin, Nahrawan, and Jamal. He had five children with Bibi Fatma al Zahra, namely Imam Hassan alayhi salam, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, Bibi Zainab, Bibi Umm Kulthum, and Hazrat Muhsin, who unfortunately was martyred because of a door being pushed on him by a hypocrite, crazy oppressor. Imam Ali alayhi salam is also the father of Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam and several more children from separate wives who he married after the demise of Bibi Fatma al Zahra. On the 19th of Ramadan, when Imam Ali alayhi salam was praying Fajr in Masjid Kufa, Abdul Rahman ibn Muljam attacked Mawla Ali alayhi salam on the head with a poisoned sword while he was in sujood, which led to his ultimate demise on the morning of the 21st of Ramadan. His holy shrine is in Najafi Ashraf in Ira, where millions gather till today and will do so till the Day of Judgment for his blessed ziyarat, inshallah. Imam Hassan alayhi salam was the second Imam of the Shia Muslims and the first beloved grandson of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the first child of Imam Ali alayhi salam and Bibi Fatma al Zahra and was born on the 15th of Ramadan in Medina. He was named Al Hassan by Rasulullah. He enjoyed the ignomen Abu Abdullah, Abu Al Aimma, Abu Al Masakin, and the son of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. He is also known as Mushtaba, Sayyid al Wasiyin, Naqi, Tayyib, Wali, Qasim, and Abu Muhammad. Imam Hassan was the most similar to the Prophet in form, manner, and ability. He was a part of the Mubahala and also a member of the Ahl al Kisa. Traditions indicate that Imam Hassan is the leader of the youth of paradise together with his younger brother Imam Hussain. Following the martyrdom of Imam Ali, Imam Hassan was his wasi over his family, his children, and his followers. Imam Ali left Imam Hassan to look after the Imamat after him and the position of his taxes, and he wrote him a well known covenant of succession as well. Imam Hassan was forced to enter into a peace treaty with his greatest enemy, Muawiyah. The wisdom behind the peace treaty deal, however, was a strategic move to expose the treachery and dishonesty of Muawiyah, who obviously violated all acts of the treaty later on. He was martyred on the 28th of Safar in Medina, as he was poisoned by his wife, Jada, because of an undertaking given to her by Muawiyah to get her married to his son, Yazid, and to give her magnanimous wealth, which of course never happened. After he was poisoned, the Imam survived an additional 40 days, enduring the pain of the strong poison before dying of its ill effect. Imam Hassan thus passed away at the age of 47, after being an Imam for 10 years for the Shias, but having a Khilafat al-Zahiri for 4 months and 3 days only. He is currently buried in Jannat al-Baqi in Medina. Imam Hussain is the third Imam of the Shia Muslims and was the second beloved grandson of the Prophet Muhammad he was the second child of Imam Ali and Bibi Fatima al Zahra, and was born on the 3rd of Shaban in Medina. He enjoyed the ignomen Abu Abdullah and is also known as Sayyid al Shahada, Maslume Karbala, and Gharib al Ainawa. He was a part of the Mubahala and also a member of the Ahl al Kisa. Traditions indicate that Imam Hussain is the leader of the youth of paradise together with his elder brother Imam Hassan. Imam Hussain is known for his regards for the poor, his patience, courage, his love and devotion to Allah, and his exemplary knowledge. He passed away at the age of 57 after being an imam for 10 years. He is currently buried in Karbala in Iraq. He was martyred on the 10th of Muharram at the hands of Yazid through Shimr Mal'oon after three days of hunger and thirst for the safety of faith and securing the practices of Islam. Every year on the 10th of Muharram called the Ashura, many people from all over the world gather and commemorate his personality and his exemplary movement. Millions of people also attend the annual gathering of Arba'in Walk, which is a three-day journey on foot walking the distance between Najaf to Karbala, located in Iraq, to honor and revive his lasting message of peace and truthfulness. The stand that Imam Hussain and his followers took against oppression in Karbala became a symbol of resistance, inspiring future reprisings against oppressors and injustice. Throughout history, many notable personalities such as Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi have also cited Imam Hussain and his stand as an example for their own fights against injustice.
The name of our fourth Imam is Imam Ali al-Islam, but he's typically referred to as Imam Zain al-Abdeen. His ignomen is Abu Muhammad, and he's also known as Sayyid al-Sajideen and Sajjad because of the intensity of prostrations that he used to do in his life. He was born in Medina on the 15th of Jamadi al-Awwal, or on the 5th of Sha'ban, as per other traditions. He's the only son of Imam Hussain al-Islam and Bibi Shahrbanu, who passed away after giving birth to him. He had joined his father in Karbala, however, due to the will of Allah, he was severely ill and was unable to participate in the jihad with his father. He survived because the imamate had to go on. In order to spread the message after the event of Karbala, the imam spent a lot of time crying for the atrocities committed against his family, primarily the women and children in Sham. Imam's whole life was spent in helping all the people in the city of Medina. One of Imam Zain al-Abdin's students, called Abu Mikhnaf, wrote the story of Karbala in the narrative form which ultimately became the part of Majlis all over the world. The Imam is well known for the Dua Abu Hamdat Thamali and for his supplications and whispered prayers which were later collected by his companions in the form of a book which was named Sahifa Sajjadiya. The Imam also beautifully provided the rights and duties of every living thing in the form of Rasalat al huquq within the Sahifa Sajjadiya. He passed away at the age of 57 on the 25th of Muharram because of being poisoned by the Syrian ruler of that time, Walid ibn Abdul Malik. His imamate was for 34 or 35 years after Karbala as per varying traditions. He is currently buried in Jannat al-Baqi in Medina. The name of our fifth imam is Imam Muhammad, but he is typically referred to as Imam Baqir al he was named Muhammad entitled Al-Baqir by his great-grandfather Rasulullah himself. His ignomen is Abu Ja'far and he is also known as Baqir Al-Ulum, Al-Shakir, Al-Hadi, Al-Amin, Al-Shabih, Al-Sabir, and Al-Shahid. People called him Al-Baqir because of his great knowledge and his many sciences. He was born in Medina on the 1st of Rajab. He was the son of our fourth Imam, Imam Zain al-Abidin al-Salam and Bibi Fatah al-Siddiqa the daughter of Imam Hassan alayhi salam, whereby enjoying a special lineage of both Imam Hassan from the maternal side and Imam Hussain alayhi salam from the paternal side. He resembled the Prophet in his features. Historians indicate that he was a brown man of medium height. He had soft skin with moles and had a thin waist. His voice was good and he always bowed his head. He had joined his father in Karbala as a three or four years old child. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent his greetings to his grandson al-Baqir through the great companion Jabir bin Abdullah al-Ansari. When the Imam was born and became a grown-up, Jabir met him and gave him the greetings. Imam Baqir al-Salam resided in Medina throughout his life. He was the first teacher and a great pioneer for scientific cultural movements in Medina. He used the Prophet's masjid to give lectures to his students. He passed away at the age of 57 on the 7th of the Hijjah because of being poisoned by Ibrahim bin Walid on the orders of Hashan bin Abdul Malik. He is currently buried in Jarrat al-Baqi in Medina. The name of our sixth Imam is Imam Jafar salam which refers to a small stream in heaven. He was named by his father. He was the son of our fifth Imam, Imam Muhammad Baqir salam and Bibi Umm Farwa. She was the great-granddaughter of Abu Bakr on both the father's and the mother's sides. His ignomen is Abu Abdullah and he is famously titled as a Sadiq as well as Sadiq Ali Muhammad, Al-Sabir, Al-Jazid, and Al-Tahir. He was born in Medina on the 17th of Rabi'ul Awwal. He was revered by both Sunni and Shia Muslims for his deep Islamic scholarship, piety, and academic accomplishments. He is the initiator of the Shia Islamic fiqh called Jafri jurisprudence, which is why the Twelver Imam Shiaism is called Jafri Shiaism. He was not only active in the era of freedom, but he also lived under the extremely tyrannical regimes of both Umayyad and the Abbasid Caliphates primarily for 21 years under Mansur al dabaniqi Similar to his father, Imam Ja'far also taught several students in Masjid al-Nabavi in Medina. The father of chemistry, Jabir ibn Hayyan, as well as Abu Hanifa were some of his prominent students. The Imam instructed one of his students, Mufatal ibn Umar Kufi, to compile four lectures of the Imam in the form of a book called the Tawheed of Mufaddal, wherein the Imam revealed complicated facts about the human being, the animal kingdom, the environment, and the natural disasters, respectively. He passed away at the age of 63 or 65 on the 15th of Shawwal or the 15th of Rajab based on wearing traditions. He was an Imam for the Shias for 28 years. He was poisoned by Mansur al Dawaniqi through grapes. The Imam is currently buried in Jannat al-Baqi in Medina. The name of our seventh Imam is Imam Musa ibn Jafar salam He was the son of our sixth Imam, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and Bibi Hamida Khatun. 
He was born on the 7th of Safar in Abwa, which is a place in between Mecca and Medina. His agnomen is Abu al-Hassan, Abu Ibrahim, and Abu Abdullah, and he enjoys several titles such as Abdul Salah, Qasim, Bab al-Hawaj, Sabir, and Amin. He excelled in tolerance and forgiveness so much so that he was entitled al-Qasim, meaning the suppressor of anger. He had six brothers, the eldest being Ismail, and nine sisters. He was known for his total submission to the will of Allah, despite the harsh circumstances the Abbasid rulers put him through during his life. It was widely known that Imam Musa salam, had been given powers of healing from Allah, and once he even brought back a dead woman to life. His imamat lasted for 35 years, which was the longest period of imamat held by any of the 12 imams of the Shiaith and Ashris. Despite the longest duration of imamat, he was unable to preach Islam like his forefathers did. The oppressive government of Imam Musa's time was pretty strong, and he was constantly being watched by caliph spies out of fear that the imam was raising an army against the government. The imam suffered horrifying and disturbing conditions in multiple prisons that he was put into for six years in Basra and Baghdad, the worst and the last being the prison of Al-Sindi bin Shahik. Al-Sindi continuously tortured the imam to such an extent that the imam himself begged Allah to release him from the prison of Al-Sindi. Al-Sindi eventually poisoned the imam on orders from Harun al-Rashid, and the imam's corpse was left on a bridge in Baghdad on Friday, the 25th of Rajab. He was martyred at the age of 55 and was buried in the cemetery of Quraysh. The name of the town itself became Qazimiyya or Qazimin in Iraq. The name of our eighth imam is Imam Ali ibn Musa, but he is famously known as Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam. He was the son of our seventh imam, Imam Musa ibn Ja'far and Bibi Najma Khatun, and was born on the 11th of Zulqa'da in Medina. His agnomen is Abul Hassan, and he is known by the titles Raza, Gharib al Ghuraba, Mu'in al Zuhfai wal Fuqara, and Shah al Khurasan. Ma'mun Rashid was the Abbasid Khalifa at the time of Imam Raza. Ma'mun plotted to compel the Imam to join his caliphate and become his political successor because he thought that this would remove the love and respect that people had towards him and Imamate as a whole. As Ma'mun threatened to kill the Imam if he refused to accept this proposal, Imam Raza salam accepted it on the condition that he wouldn't have anything to do with any political matters whatsoever. During this time, the number of speeches that Imam Raza salam delivered on the principles of Islamic knowledge and sciences are equivalent to those delivered by Imam Ali salam and are more than those delivered by any of the other Imams. Under the direction of Imam Raza salam some of the hadith narrations which were forged and fabricated by the wicked people of his time were also identified and eliminated from the hadith books. The handwritten copy of the Holy Qur'an by Imam Raza salam was sent from the Royal Library of India to Iraq and is now with the custodians of the Holy Shrine in Iran as transferred by Allah Ma'amini. Despite Ma'mun's conspiracy against the Imam, the Imam continued to gain exponential popularity. And when Ma'mun realized the failure of his conspiracy, he eventually poisoned the Imam. The Imam was martyred at the age of 25 on the 23rd of the Al-Qa'da, or on the 17th of Safar based on other narrations. He's currently buried in Mashhad, which was previously known as Khurasan in Iran. The name of our ninth Imam is Imam Muhammad ibn Ali alayhi salam, and he is titled Al-Taqi and Al-Jawad. His agnomen is Abu Ja'far. He was the only son of our eighth Imam, Imam Ali Raza alayhi salam, and Bibi Sabika Khatun was also known as Khayzuran. He was born on the 10th of Rajab in Medina and born when his father was 45 years old. Imam Muhammad Taqi was 5 years old when his father was called to Baghdad by Ma'mun Rashid to be his heir apparent. Following Imam Raza's martyrdom, Imam Taqi became the Imam at a mere age of 9. At such a young age, Imam Taqi was compelled by Ma'mun to debate with over 900 most learned scholars of that time. Imam Taqi stunned the crowd with his prolific and scholarly answers. Believing that Ma'mun could influence the young Imam from childhood, Ma'mun conspired against Imam Taqi the same way as he did with Imam Raza that is, by providing distractions to take him away from Islam, which of course never worked. Ma'mun also compelled Imam Taqi to marry his daughter, Umm Fadl, with the hope that the 12th Imam would be from Ma'mun's progeny. The Imam himself recited his marriage khutbah, which became so famous that it is being recited in weddings even today. Umm Fadl did not have any children, and Ma'mun's conspiracy failed once more. So Ma'mun sent Imam Taqi back to Medina with Umm Fadl. Imam Taqi also married Bibi Samana, who was a descendant of Ahmad ibn Yasir, and she was the one who gave birth to Imam Ali Naqi, the 10th Imam. While Imam Taqi was in Medina, he prepared books for the Messiahs of Ijtihad and Taqlid, which were essential to prepare the believers for the Ghibat of the 12th Imam. Ma'mun died and was succeeded by his brother Mu'tasim Billah. The Imam was martyred at the age of 25 on the 29th of the Al-Qa'da because of poison instilled in his drink by Mu'tasim through his niece Umm Fadl. He is currently buried in Qasmin near Baghdad in Iraq together with his grandfather Imam Musa ibn Ja'far.
The name of our 10th Imam is Imam Ali bin Muhammad السلام, and he's known either as Imam Ali al-Hadi السلام, the guide, or Imam Ali al-Naqi السلام, the pure one. His ignomin is Abul Hassan and he was born on the 2nd or the 5th of Rajab or on the 15th of Dhul Hijjah in a place called Surya in Medina. He is the son of our 9th Imam, Imam Muhammad al-Taqi al-Jawad and Bibi Samana, a descendant of Hazrat Ammar bin Yasir. She was so pious that she spent her entire life fasting. Imam al-Hadi was just 6 years old when his father was martyred by poison. He continued to live in Medina after his father's demise and imparted Islamic knowledge to the innumerable pupils, especially the adherents of Ahl al-Bayt from Persia, Egypt and Iraq. At the age of 19, however, he was called to Baghdad when the drunkard Mutawakkil became the Khalifa. Mutawakkil abhorred the Shias of Ahl al-Bayt to such an extent that he even tried to drown and plow the grave of Imam Hussein salam, but obviously was unsuccessful. Mutawakkil constantly sought ways to degrade, insult and harass the Imam salam, in Baghdad. The Imam was later on shifted from Baghdad to Samarra due to political reasons and spent 12 years under house arrest in the custody of a cruel man named Said who harassed the Imam incessantly. Mutawakkil was eventually killed by his own son, Muntasir Billah. Even after Mutawakkil's death, the Imam continued to stay in Samarra and preached Islam to the students who thronged him at all times. This made al mutaz the contemporary caliph, extremely jealous, which led to the eventual poisoning of the Imam by Mu'taz. The Imam served the longest period of imamate of 34 years, besides the 12th Imam, divided into 17 years of freedom and 17 years under arrest. He was martyred at the age of 42 on the 26th of Zermad Yassani or on the 3rd of Rajab and is currently buried in Samarra in Iraq. The name of our 11th Imam is Imam Hassan Askari salam, and he's titled Al Askari because he was forcibly kept in a military camp under strict surveillance all his life by the Abbasid government. He was also titled the Pure, the Guide, the Chaste, the Peculiar, the Silent, the Lamp, and the Pious. His ignomin is Abu Muhammad and he was born on the 8th or the 10th of Rabi Asani in Medina or in Samarra. He's the son of our 10th Imam, Imam Ali al-Hadi al-Salam and Bibi Haditha, who was also known as Salil or Sosan. Historians indicate that the Imam had a beautiful complexion that was between brown and white, and he had big eyes. The Imam was the most knowledgeable and the best of the people of his age, not only in religious affairs and laws, but in all fields of knowledge. The Abbas government knew of the prophecy that Imam Mahdi al hajjat ibn Hassan would be from the progeny of our 11th Imam, which is why they were extremely harsh towards him. They arrested and put him into prison under the strictest of guards. They even tried to involve him into the government body and spared no effort to subject him to their desires, but obviously failed. No one was more generous than the Imam among all people of the time. The Imam wrote several letters to his trusted companions with an aim to prepare them for the Ghaiba and the Imamath of the 12th Imam. He even appointed Uthman ibn Sa'id Amri and his son Muhammad ibn Uthman as his representatives or naibs so that the Shias of that time could get used to the concept of connecting to the Imams through representatives. He also propagated the notion of taqayya to his Shia to protect them from the autocracy of the government. He was poisoned at the age of 28 on the command of Al-Mu'atam al Basi and passed away on the 8th of Rabi' al-Awwal and is currently buried in Samarra in Iraq. The famous tafsir of the Holy Qur'an written by him is still available today together with his valuable sayings and advices. The name of our 12th Imam and the last of the 14 infallibles is Imam Muhammad ibn Hassan alayhi salam. His ignomin is Abul Qasim and he was born on the 15th of Sha'ban in Samarra. He is also known as Sahib al Asri wal Zaman, Al Hujja, Al Qaim, Al Muntazar, Al Muntazir, Al Mahdi, Ma'ud, Wal Yasir, and Baqiyat Allah. Imam Mahdi is the son of our 11th Imam, Imam Hassan Askari alayhi salam, and the princes of Rome, Bibi Nerjas Khatun. She is also referred to as Anna, Katrina, or Liliana in certain books. Imam Mahdi is also likened to Prophet Musa salam, because his mother also didn't show any signs of pregnancy before giving birth to Imam Mahdi. Imam Mahdi's minor occultation began following the martyrdom of his father. His major occultation began after 67 years. He had four representatives during his minor occultation, Hazrat Usman son of Sayyid Amri, Hazrat Muhammad son of Usman ibn Sayyid Amri, Hazrat Hussein ibn Ruh Nabakhti, and the last one was Hazrat Ali ibn Muhammad Samuri. The Imam hasn't appointed any representative for the major occultation but has instructed us through his signed letters called Tawqi to refer to the Maraja and the great jurists as his general representatives when it comes to religious affairs. Imam Mahdi is currently alive and is living as an unknown among us. We can see him but cannot recognize him. The Imam will make himself known when he has the permission of Allah and will then eradicate the oppression present in this world. When our 12th Imam reappears, Prophet Jesus السلام, will also accompany him and will pray behind Imam Mahdi. There is significant reference to our 12th Imam in the Holy Quran, numerous Sunni books, and also in the books of other faiths. Sahifa al-Mahdi and many more du'as and ziyarats are attributed to our 12th Imam.